Hello viewers, welcome to Scientific Investing. And uh, today we have a new video called uh, How to do tactical techno fund analysis in auto sector. So first, uh, let us look at this word tactical. What does actually it means? If you look at the you know English meaning of the word tactical, it means something which is carefully planned. Uh, you know, uh, to gain a specific military end. So basically, you are trying to do something with a sound planning. So how to do this kind of sound planning, tactical planning, uh, you know, in automotive sector and why I have used this word because uh, as you know, I try to take decisions based on data and this sector is little special which comes about data and there is something very unique which happens in this sector on data. The unique thing about auto sector in terms of data is it's a sector where every month the uh, the sales volume data is released. Uh, let me show you by an example and how to search for this. So I'll tell you, you can do it on screener and this is how you'll do. Go to screener.in, pick one auto company like, uh, let us pick iShare Motors. You go down, you see something called announcement under regulation 30 monthly business updates now this word monthly business update is very interesting what do you do in this search for company look for monthly business updates just give a search now what you see here is you have search results for monthly business and check in announcements and mark this in quotes so that it doesn't look for these two words separately but it looks for those announcements where monthly business both are coming together. And now you see, apart from other companies, specifically to auto, you can see iShare Motor, Ashok Leyland, TBS Motor, VST Tiller, all these updates have happened on 1st of November. So what happens is that on every end of the month, all the auto companies, they release their monthly business update data where they provide information about how has been the monthly performance. Let me show you some of the examples. So let us say I open this iShare Motors monthly update document and you can see there is a monthly sales data. Uh, there is a how the company has done in October uh, 23 with respect to October 22 year till date. This itself gives you a sense of kind of performance which can come. So let us say we are in the month of November. So already the October data is released. Then the November data will come. Then the December data will come. And based on those two, three months of data, we will have some fair sense of how the business is going to do this quarter on a YOY basis. Of course, these are unit data. Some companies provide both value and volume data. Some companies provide only volume data. So this is a good piece of information. And this helps us to take certain tactical decisions which are meticulously planned rather than uh, guessing what is going to come. So let me take an example and show it. So there is a company uh, called Steel Strip Wheels, uh, which we covered in our practitioner use case. So actually this company, uh, one, I did an auto sector webinar almost one year back. We did a, a, a live auto sector webinar on YouTube almost one and a half years back. So another thing I want to highlight is many times people ask me, okay, ye ho gaya, tell a new theme, tell a new theme. See, uh, we must learn to appreciate how to participate in a cycle fully. We always get eager to jump from here to there to there to there. And many times we don't play the cycle to its fullest. Uh, if you see the auto cycle, which started one and a half years back, it is still going strong. So one learning just I want to highlight on this is whenever we pick a sector, we must understand how to play the sector fully. And uh, whatever knowledge we gain in a sector, we can leverage on multiple companies. And this is how this company came on my radar. And when I did an auto webinar, one of the key themes which came out of auto webinar was the concept of premiumization. Uh, companies which are in certain kind of premiumization, these are the companies, uh, you know, which uh, get better valued. They are supposed to do well. So this company works is working on a theme of premiumization from steel wheels to alloy wheels. And this company is a market leader and all of that. So we covered this company in practitioner uh, somewhere when this was doing this breakout here five, six months back. So I am somebody who likes to take a little bit of stake 
uh, when I see there is enough value and there is enough, uh, you know, stage one accumulation is going on. And these are times when there is enough margin of safety in value. When the stock was trading here, it was around 2000 crore market cap on it, 200 crore cash flow basis with certain future tailwinds and triggers with some immediate short term headwinds. So if I have enough conviction that, okay, these headwinds will last for six months, one year, I'm happy holding and let the stock do nothing. But then a breakout happened. So the story here in this stock is, uh, and again, whatever I am saying, you're telling this is not a recommendation. My mean purchase price is very, very low. But let us use this framework to understand how to work over this and how to top up and all. So this is the tactical techno funda is a framework for that. So the trigger of this business was it is a alloy wheel story where there is a revenue mix change from steel wheel to alloy wheel is happening. And alloy wheel is three times more on a per unit economics compared to a steel wheel. It's a better margin business. Uh, the company is a market leader. The company is growing its export business. Those were the triggers. The alloy wheel business was working on almost a 90% plus capacity utilization. And there is a 50% kind of capex, which is supposed to come alive. Live. And in the steel wheel, they had done a very uh, cheap acquisition, but that acquisition got stuck with NCLT and that decision was supposed to come and that was getting delayed. So that's the broad story. And then maybe market sends it out that, okay, that is going to come. Maybe some big parties, you can see there's a big volume which came here, which means market sense that, okay, uh, there is a story which is going to play. And then after two years of consolidation in this tight box, there was a huge volume based breakout. So I built my base positions here. I topped up my big, again, a big position here. And then since then I had done nothing. So my mean price was somewhere around 175 rupee. If you take this 150 rupee and this, uh, you know, 210 rupee, my mean price was somewhere around 175, 180 rupee. Now, something very interesting happened on this monthly disclosure. And this is where the tactical planning comes. If you look at last two quarters of results of this company, if you see the June result, June 22 to June 23, nothing has happened. The profit is almost flat. If you see September latest results, some top line growth, some degrowth. But still, the stock is not falling much. That So either, you know, the stock is going to correct or market knows something. Now, if you read the con calls and because I'm invested, I track these companies in terms of con call. It was said by the management that uh, in H1, they will not do well and there is a higher expense. If you further look at the financials of this company, you will see that the employee cost, the quarterly employee cost, there was a big spike. And uh, if you see 6% employee cost has gone to 8% and this employee cost is not yet contributing. Uh, this employee cost is going to drive the business in H2. So whenever you are, uh, you know, you are trying to build a new territory, you're trying to expand the business and all, you front load certain costs. So the management commentary was uh, in H2, the growth will come and there are there is a front loading of expense which is happening. Now the question is, are they going to perform in H2? Now I will show you same way like all the companies declare their monthly business update. SSWL also does their monthly business update and this is how they do it. These are the three month updates of SSWL for the month of July, August and September, which captures the Q2. And if you look, they disclose all the details in terms of export, in terms of, uh, you know, auto vehicle type, truck, passenger car, steel wheel, alloy wheel, volume growth, value growth. If you see July, they did value growth of minus 2%. August, they did 10%. September, they did 12%. If we just take a rough of this average, 12 plus 10, 22 minus 2, 20, 20 divided by 3, almost 6 to 7%. 6, 7% was the kind of uh, value growth which the company had done. If you look at the fundamental number for Q2, Q2 number is 1134 crore over 1081 crore, which is almost 34 and 19, 53 crore on 1081, which is almost a 5% kind of sales growth rate. So when you try to triangulate the monthly filing data, 
with this data, we actually had a clue at what is coming in the top line growth rate. And if we track the con call, we know that there is a built up employee expense. And even if you see this 8%, it was supposed to come. That means that kind of margin pressure, despite of top line, uh, some margin pressure because your employee cost has grown higher. So that means your EBITDA margins are going to be a little lower, your PAT margin, and then, uh, you know, there's a uh, interest cost rise because there is a capex which they are going to do for the uh, you know alloy wheel which is working on uh, you know 95 percent utilization so the capex is going to be driven by partially by loan and that interest is getting built up that means nothing happened so one we are not shocked by this result maybe that is what intelligent minds are reading and that is why the price is not correcting much but there was a small price correction which happened last week uh, and let me change it to daily chart now. If you look at this chart, this was the range from where breakout happened at uh, you know these levels and if you look at this chart, the last resistance points, if you look at this level, this uh, 1,256, this 256 level was a key resistance level which got crossed then there was a minor resistance at 271 and then again the same 256 acted as a support so this 256 is a good support level and just four or five days back the stock was available here and then the october month monthly information came and if we look at the october month numbers these are the numbers for the month of october and you can see from minus 2% to 10% to 12%, October, the company has done a 18% growth. So looks like finally the growth is increasing. What is more interesting is uh, bulk of the growth is still happening on export side and on the truck side, but look at the alloy. Alloy is still degrowing or not growing. The reason is it's already at a full capacity. So they can't increase the capacity. So the moment that 50% alloy expansion comes, actually this is also going to grow. But despite of that, they have done a 18% kind of growth rate. Now, if we look at price, I'm not getting into valuation. Right now, the stock has gone from almost 2000 crore market cap to 4000 crore market cap. It's 20 times value. Uh, still, I would say a 200 crore cash flow company with a 20 times valuation and uh, you know, there is a uh, there is a opportunity of premium play. There is a growth which will come because of this 50% capex and all. And I leave it to the market and people to decide the valuation. But all I can say, it doesn't look any kind of super frothy and costly. And then there is a minor correction. And then this uh, news gets released and with 80% value growth. So, and the stock has rebounded. Now, if I purely apply a technical analysis, I can say this is the support level and it is bounced back. But when I tactically look at the drivers why it should, there is a significant change in the performance from almost a 5% mean quarter growth rate to a possibility of 18% growth rate. We don't know if in the month of November and December, same kind of 18% number will come or not, but at least there's a start. And that start is giving some confidence that what management has told that the growth will happen in H2 and the numbers are changing. So now it becomes interesting to watch if, uh, you know, for next two months of data and then see if those numbers are coming and how the charts develop. Hi all, uh, very happy Deepavali to all of you. And we are running an exclusive Deepavali discount offer where you get an exclusive 10% discount on all our courses at our educational channel which is learn.scientificinvesting.in uh, whether you opt for a practitioner or fun tech or a high tech any learning track or you know uh, you have this discount so do make full use of the discount you can go to the uh, website learn.scientificinvesting.in and while paying uh, use this discount diwali 10 and you will get the discount so this is where we tactically look for uh, it points of evidence data points which can help us to build conviction uh, look at the charts, look at the key support level, blend that with some kind of fundamental data which can substantiate that, okay, this is happening. And I just give you an example of auto, you might say that, okay, it looks very easy in auto sector because everybody releases monthly report. First thing, why not to use it? If it is there, let's make use of it. Second thing, 
different industries have different way of uh, you know uh, triangulating data uh, there are sectors like related to brokerage there are sectors related to trading uh, there are sectors related to mining where i can tell you that there are ways we can go and we can track the right data at a monthly level and we can get some sense of what is coming so my idea was to just highlight to you that always think in data always look for possibilities of how that data could be leveraged in decision making and how we can get some kind of time based advantage in uh, you know building conviction over what is coming with strong evidences uh, rather than just lying on hope so i hope this video was useful actually there is one more data point i use along with this i didn't discuss in this video so that data point also comes on a monthly level and that gives a fair idea of a uh, kind of you know what to expect uh if you want to guess i would request make a guess what that data could be put your guess in the comment section and let me know if you would like me to make a video on that specific data point how to use that other monthly data point in you know these kind of uh, tactical decision making where we build a data based uh, view uh, what might come in next to 3 months and accordingly we take our decisions whether we want to top up our position or we want to sell off our position little bit so i hope this video is useful uh i hope you keep liking our content and i would uh, sincerely request you to share our channel our content with other people so that more people can get benefited and more people know about us because we don't take any commercial advertisement on uh, youtube i get lot of requests for uh, you know lot of paid campaigns in last two years and all i have avoided uh, i might do in future if uh, you know ethically it is aligned but uh, this is the only way of spreading message so please uh, 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 like share and uh, share our content uh, to help us to reach to more folks i will see you with another video soon thank you